fucking cold. We somehow got the temperature switched to Fahrenheit, and now I don't know what the fuck it means. It's 10 degrees out. I bet it. about being cold but it's like that like you don't get warm again cold and I had like bad dreams last night and oh lord I'm ready to go home and I have been out of my house for approximately four minutes now I'm gonna go into the day jizzle some shit done. All right, lady. You will just this neighborhood. This is like this little neighborhood in the back of um, the behind the cemetery, between the cemetery and the highway. Um, and it's the cutest little houses. There are all these different styles. Um, one of them kind of has this weird like the Maitland's house from Beetlejuice vibe going on. Um, and then some of them look like Rockford houses. It's very, it's a very odd little section there. But people drive through that neighborhood like it's uninhabited. Um, and it's not, it's not. In fact, I got into it with an old man one day because he um, just like whipped himself out. And there were children trying to watch their bus and like he almost hit them. So I was pissed. And I'm not exactly the like think of the children ass bitch. You know? Won't somebody please think of the children? But what I do know is that I'm back at work and um, they still haven't given me a path from the parking lot over there. It really annoys me because I am happy to walk over, but y'all box my car the place I park it. And um, only two of us park over there, so we're not going to walk a mile to come around the pile of, like, the wall here. We're not going to do that. Good morning. I am, um, I look like this. I guess that kind of is a long and short of the whole story there. I am on my way to work. I'm very drippy. I feel like the front of my face is a leaky faucet. I don't like it. Sims all day Saturday. I played um, Stardew Valley on Sunday. To be fair, it wasn't all day Sunday because I cleaned on Sundays. Um, and that's like not really planned. I just do that. Like, I don't work. I work a half day on Friday. Friday afternoon, I either stream or hang out with friends or something along those lines. So, Fridays are usually somewhat social. Then Saturdays, I usually, like, veg out and disassociate and just spend all my time being in a video game of some sort. The video game is frequently Stardew, but not always. This time it was, it was Stardew in the morning and then it was Sims in the afternoon. We're all Sims 4. And then yesterday I played Stardew for the bits of time that I wasn't cleaning. And then Sailor comes over and she, and we watch a show and, uh, Fun too. Am I gonna film myself getting killed in highway traffic? Maybe. I've had about a fuck enough of everybody already, and I have been um, peopling for precisely uh, like two minutes. And then also keep in mind that I haven't actually come into direct, direct contact with any people. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, the 13th. I think tomorrow's Valentine's. I know it's not now. But we're just gonna play along. So I am on my way to work. I have a full day of work today, and then I have stream tonight. I had to do a whole bunch of shit to fix my story that I've been working on, and I think I've decided I'm just going to baseline work on it in Drive, and then um, 
every few days, I'll just copy paste it into the other files because I still can't figure out how it deleted just the work that I had done. Um, yeah, I still can't figure it out. It is editing Sarah to uh, kind of explain what happened here. I lost the footage where I explained what went on here because it's car footage and car footage is kind of hard to sift through. Anyway, so what happened was I was writing on my story that I'm working on a few weeks back and I, I always hit control save um, when I stop writing. It's just like how I write. And somehow my computer shut down and Word shut down. And it when I opened my save, it had deleted everything I had written. So I'm not quite sure what happened there um and it showed the save time as the right save time uh and it was that way in OneDrive and on my computer which i save in both places usually so that's what i'm talking about uh i still haven't figured out what exactly happened there the only thing i can think of is that somehow the cat walked on the keyboard and hotkeyed it um and then it auto saved to the second location the the copy um that's the only thing i can come up with but at any rate, that's what happened. So out of fear of doing it all over again, I'm gonna um, do it different. And I don't usually like writing in Drive because I feel like Drive loses stuff, but like I've never had Word just like lose a whole bunch of work. And I save so incessantly. Like if I stop to check Word count, I hit Control S. Like I just hit, I, I hit the the save keys as a controller. Oh, I don't know. My fingers just do it. I don't fucking know. But I, I save incessantly because I've lost stuff before. You know, I mean, I'm in my 40s. Of course, I've lost stuff on a computer before. Ah, ah, they starve. Ah, ah. Are we gonna floor it? Yes, we are. Okay, you pass me. You pass me. You pass me. Good job. Good job, guy. Good job. It was. So, all right. So tonight I've got Scream. Tomorrow I don't. Wednesday I do. Thursday I do. And then Fridays I just kind of do whatever the fuck I want. And then Saturday is my day to myself. And Sunday is the day I clean the house and spend time with my family. So as of right now, what I need in my life is to get through, to get through the day. Hi guys. I woke up late for work. Um, and so I need to get to work. So last night, it was Valentine's Day. My husband had a stream, so we hung out and watched some Voyager ahead of time, and then we were gonna hang out afterwards for, for a little bit until, you know, like I absolutely had to go to bed because I work at seven in the morning. I fell asleep at like 9.30 and his stream got over at 10, um, but I think he was just trying to let me sleep. So I woke up at like 11.30 trying to like get the cat out of the room um and then I was just up and then weirdly enough CJ was up as well but um by the time she messaged me back I had I had deter become determined to no longer uh engage my phone so she messaged me back at like 3 30 in the morning and um I didn't know what the time was but what I knew was I had told myself I needed to knock it off and insist on going to bed so have you guys seen these terrible fucking roses that people are trying to sell people on YouTube. And, like, this is the second or third time I've seen a round of this. I think they just tend to ramp up their sales around Valentine's or something. But, like, I, I don't know who the, the audience is for it. I think flowers are already expensive. And so to put them in, like, a weird glass box with a drawer in it. And then, like, there's some sort of freeze drying or something they do to make them stick around for a year or so and let me tell you my dad paid for my mom to get some freeze dried roses when I was in college my dad was going through like an experiment phase um so he got her some freeze dried ones and ended up going with silk ones after that because the freeze dried ones turned out fucking awful actually um the basically what happens is with the, the process that this one used, I don't know about this other one, but I still don't want flowers in a fucking plastic box with a hideous fucking mess. Um, 
but and like I don't do style, but that's hideous. I'm sorry, it's hideous. If you're offended, I, I'm sorry you're offended. The freeze dried roses, my mom got them, and after about six weeks, she started to notice that like cat hair was sticking to them. So she called or checked the information that came with it or something. Anyway, we and like they'd give us directions to like clean the to clean them off. It was a, a fucking nightmare. But then um, as time went on, they started the flowers started to get brittle, like the um, the petals started to get brittle, which is not surprising. These are very delicate like things that we're trying to preserve, and so getting brittle would be a probably a normal um, response even if it's not the response you really want Ugh, I don't know but they just kind of decomposed on the on the sticks but my point is that the other ones are really fucking ugly all right so it's lunchtime and I'm about to go get some uh, some foodstuffs and then I gotta come back to work and do some more work. I don't, I don't know, I'm in a really bad mood. I've been in a bad mood for a couple days and it's not like, it's not like I'm just in a general bad mood. I'm in a bad mood about my job. Like it seems like everything is far more difficult than it ever should be all the time. And I've just like had about enough of it. <sighs> so, I don't know. I don't know what to do with all that. I do know that I'm supposed to have a D&D &D stream tonight. Um, and since I didn't really sleep last night like I should have, I don't know that I'm going to make it. I'm exhausted. Oh, so tired. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We never going back. We don't got to go back. Nobody can make us. I mean, I left my purse, so I will have to go back. I only brought my wallet, so I guess I do have to go back. And I'm running into this, like, heavy roadblock where, like, I'm at so many different points and so many different projects. Um, and fear of failure is affecting all of them. So what I need to do is I need to turn that off. But unfortunately, I don't just, like, have a button that turns off my anxiety. So I don't know how to solve that problem, really. I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm getting anything done. I feel like I'm just spending a lot of time spinning circles. Here's where things are at. Um, My frustration with my job and my frustration with my life, I think what I really need to do is I need to refocus myself on, um, first of all, like taking lunch breaks at my job. I have a really bad habit of working through my lunch instead of taking like a, a real break. And I think sometimes that's part of the reason that I lose momentum, actually. So I think sometimes that that is one of the problems is that because I push myself to just like go, 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 um, I hit a lull and instead of taking that lull as a time to like take a break and recharge, I like just lose all my momentum. So I think I need to start taking like an actual break at my lunchtime um, and like disconnecting. And I'm going to try to do that. The problem is that my job doesn't really allow for that. I work in a law office and sometimes... You know, sometimes we have emergencies and stuff. We do a lot of um, what's called guardian ad litem work. So my boss represents like the best interests of the kids in a courtroom. Um, so it, it can be a very heavy job because as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, people have all kinds of problems. It does seem like if I can, if I can cause, like if I can make everything kind of work in pockets, of like, here's this pocket of my life, here's my writing pocket, here's my work pocket. Um, but I think one of the keys there is that I have to be able to break up my work pocket a little bit because my work pocket is wearing me out. And I've considered taking some time off. The problem there is that I, I usually try to take off time when my boss is off because, <clears throat> number one, 
she doesn't have emergencies that she then needs to contact me at home to try to find out about. Um, a lot of times it's not even that like I have to fix them, but I'm the only one who knows the answer. And the other reason is just it's easier to take off if the boss isn't there, you know? It's less need for everybody to be there doing their thing. But I'm hoping that if I start writing a little bit on my lunch breaks, even if I take 10 or 15 minutes and just like do that, um, I'm thinking that maybe I will feel less out of control, I guess, at work. I don't know. I don't know how to really describe what it is. It's like I hit about this time in my day and my brain is like, it's time to stop. It's time to stop. You've done too much. And it's not that I've necessarily done too much. It's that I haven't come up for fucking air. And my brain, the part of my brain that talks to me in like rational adult words is like, yeah, yeah, you haven't come up for air. You need to come up for air. Uh, but the other part of my brain, the part that is a lying bitch, uh, is like, no, you're just really fucking worthless and you can't do anything. And like, no, I'm just, I'm fucking too old for this shit. I'm too old for this shit. And it gets to the point where like, I don't even put together videos. I record videos all the time and don't put them together. And that's always a thing. It's always like, you know, why would you waste your time recording a video and then never put it together? I don't fucking know. I just keep doing it. I have all this expensive fucking equipment so that I can do these things. And then I just don't use it because I'm a douche and I'm really annoyed that I'm so tired and that I might not make it to game tonight because it seems like um Tuesday nights tend to be this problem uh it's like my my lack of sleep is almost always the night before my D&D &D game if I go I'm like super fucking low energy and exhausted and not able to pay on that a lot of attention because I'm like sleepy and if I don't go, then I've just missed a game. And I hate that. And it, it is a really fucking weird to miss the game when your husband is the GM. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not like sick, I'm just a bitch. You know, I washed my hair last night and it looks like shit. I go eat my fucking food. Good morning, everybody. I'm in a shit mood. Um, it is Thursday morning. And I was promised a snow event and the snow event was supposed to start at 3 a.m. and it is 7 and it has not started. So I'm on my way to fucking work when I was supposed to work from home in the morning. Um, but I, there's no reason to work from home. So. I had kind of planned on just getting up and working because I was going to work from home uh, because of the snow. So I set my alarm clock for like the last time that I could set it for, which meant that I left three very angry cats with no food. It's not like nobody's there, like if they're gonna eat, Travis will feed them, but I'm sure they're gonna be fucking assholes until he gets up. And I don't know what to do about that. But like, we were told that there would be like inches of snow and this is what it looks like. And yes, there is about one house per block who still has Christmas lights on. I don't care if you leave them up. It's a bunch of work to take them down, put them up, and take them down, put them up. And if you know, if you kind of got a, like a motif you do or whatever, yeah, you know, leave those fuckers up. But you don't have to turn them on just because they're up. While I have been opening my document and giving myself an opportunity to write, I haven't written in like three days, and that's really fucking frustrating. Especially because I kind of know where I'm going, like not specifically enough to make it not useful. Um, but like I have an idea of where this is about to fling me. Um, and yet, for some reason, I can't make myself fucking write it. And no, it's not its not like writer's block. Like, I just can't make myself type. I am going to go into my work now. There are a few things I want to do less than walk in this door. Hey, so pardon all the noise. There's just a lot of noise going on, but uh... It's like 11.15 on Saturday night, and I'm up writing, so I thought, you know what, I don't usually remember to vlog when I'm writing. Um, so I'm writing, and I'm watching American Horror Story 1984, and I am, um, yeah, it's going pretty well, actually, so, yeah, I accidentally took a nap, fucked up my whole sleep schedule. Anyway, it caused me to write, so I guess I'll go with it. Alright, well, it's just after midnight, I'm at, like, 
1400 and some odd words for the day. Um, I'm gonna keep working, but I thought I'd check in. I don't know, not much else going on. It's kind of going slow because I'm in a, like a dip in the action. And I always just write slower if I'm in a slower dip. Like that's just how it is, so. All right. Well, it's quarter to one. I've written about 1800 words. I'm still writing, so I'm gonna keep writing. Um, but um, I'm running out of snacks. Is that snacks? Okay, it's like 1:25, and uh, I don't need to fuck myself all up for work this week. So I'm gonna head to bed. Hopefully, I'll get more done tomorrow. We will see. Um, yeah. So, um, I did break 2,000 words for the day. Not mad at it. All right, bye. Sir, would you like to tell the world about how I won't feed you? With the snacks on the floor, the actual meal here, the water there. Would you like to tell the world how your life is like an ASPCA commercial? Sir. Sir, are you sad? <clears throat> Sir, are you sad? This is not your food, sir. 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 Sir, it is not, it's not yours. Thank you. Okay, sir. My good man. Are you gonna eat your food? I realize you're elderly and grumpy. I am those things as well. Here, look. It's your food. We, we go over this every day. <sighs> Sir? Buddy boy. I guess he's eating. I guess he's eating. I don't know. Anyway, so I should clean. I should write. I might do neither of those things. I'm fucking useless. Hello. So it's Sunday morning. Um, it's a little after eight and I am trying to like kind of clean. Sunday's usually the day that I do some cleaning because uh, my kid comes over and hangs out for a few hours with us. Um, so I like the house to be clean when that happens because then I don't have to worry about it. Um, my husband seems to be talking so I guess I'm going to stop. Hey, I look like a drowned rat because I just got out of the bathtub. Anyway, while I was in the bath I was listening to Amber Craft's live stream and it was the first live stream I'd been to in quite some time. Um, and for that reason I started to kind of think about back when I used to just attend live streams all the time and like, I was always involved in something, and I really kind of miss it. I don't know. I think that combined with the fact that I'm, like, actively writing has really brought out to me that, like, I really miss the way AuthorTube used to be. The fact that I used to, like, always have somebody I could hang out with at all hours because somebody was, like, around somewhere uh, doing AuthorTube shit. And, like, I don't know. It's weird. I was just thinking... All right, so Saturday, it's like uh, 10 after 3. I'm waiting for Morgan's stream to start now. Um, I have written a little more. I have 378 words for today, but I have broken 10K on this project. Um, I do have other stuff I need to start working on, but I've also been cleaning. Um, not like... I don't like that fucking mess, but like dishes and, you know, the stuff that's like gross. Anyway... I don't know if I'm going to switch projects or what I'm going to do when Morgan starts streaming, but I'll probably start working on something at my desk. Um, right now I'm kind of just sitting down for a moment while I figure out what else I need to do. 
So I like have some time to myself in my house, which I don't have a ton of these days. So um, I'm going to take it. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, whatever day, and the 20, the 20th? It's President's Day, so I don't work today. Seems to me that if today's President's Day, the only person who should be off is the President. What the fuck do I know? So, I'm trying to make some coffee. Ugh, good morning, everybody. I cleaned yesterday, and then I ate popcorn, and now there's popcorn on my face. It is Monday the 20th. I'm off work. It's a national holiday today, and my day job is closed if the courthouse is closed. So obviously it is closed today, so I am off work. So I'm still working on that story that I've been working on. I broke 10,000 over the weekend. I really am enjoying it. However, I don't know where I'm going with it. And I'm a little afraid that it's about to die because it's just not like my typical wheelhouse. So I'm struggling a little bit to make it like stay focused. Meanwhile, I do have other stuff I need to work on. You know, I have other stories. It's not like this is the only story I've ever written. And I don't know what to do with those. I don't know. But at any rate, um, it was a fairly productive weekend, all things considered. Um, I think my sleep schedule is sorted out. I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. I'm still not quite sure what to do about the fact that I really miss, like, old author tube. Um, obviously, that doesn't mean that I just want things to go back to the way they were. Like, that's ridiculous. A space where I felt welcomed and excited to be here. Um, there was a period of time where... I was like, oh God, I'm never alone because I'm always on author tube doing stuff with other authors. And I just don't feel like that anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. Thank you for watching this ridiculous vlog. You know I don't make videos with any regularity and I kind of just do my own thing because um, I'm fucking useless. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. My subscriber count kind of does one of these numbers like all the time. So if you're willing to uh, put down a subscribe and call that solid. I would love that. Huh? What are you saying? Can you talk? Can you do it? Can you talk? Can you say meow? Can you do it? Talk? Meow? see you again soon. I don't know when. I'm not gonna make any promises because promises make you a liar. Uh, yeah. All right. Bye.